Hey everyone, it's even bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Liquid Crystal. In the last episode, we defeated the Celadon Gym Leader, Erika, and then we got into final, in a final, into a battle slash fight with Pokemon Trainer Zane, and we still can't manage to beat his Umbreon, which is really a pain in the butt, but oh well, you, you get that sometimes. And this Pokemon's wish is extremely annoying. Mm. Seriously, the amount of times this thing, this thing has used Wish. I am not surprised that it... Uh, actually, I am surprised, sorry, it is not out of PP yet. Uh, oh, uh, oh well. Anyway, I have a couple of names that I would like to mention for getting the next LP right. Now, these guys, you cannot mention this to anyone. But these two names coming up on the screen right now... Cheese Wongafool and Jenkinju, you two have managed to get the correct LP. Now, although Hint 4 is going to be mentioned later on in this uh, episode, those two people there, those wonderful YouTube users, managed uh, to get the name the name of the game correct. So, congratulations, guys. You guys have got a PM from me saying what you guys are in store for, and I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy that as well. Now, there is only one more spot left to get the game right, so... Hurry up and get your PMs in now. You, if you are one of the, if you are the first three people to get the uh, names in, actually get a uh, to be part of my test audience for Pokemon Platinum and Pokemon Soul Silver. So, so we have one more spot. You guys can keep PMing me after that though, but there is one more spot to be part of my test audience. So, yeah. And uh, mm, this thing is still using Wish. I, uh, I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. This is just outrageous. Outrage. That's a good move. Outrage. And Eugene, you know how you feel about outrage. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't like that move. Stop using Wish. Uh, this is still going. I can't believe this battle is just dragging out. Oh, we get a critical hit. It's about time. Anyway, another request that I had from the name of Pom. I don't think you have a YouTube account, but his friend is friends with uh, Zoran Under. So um, I got a request to do an American accent because apparently I seem to be good at those, but um, I <laughs> really don't want to do it. But since you asked me to do it, I will talk in an American accent for this. Even training my Pokemon in Kanto. Yeah, you have humiliated me for the last time, Jono. I'm becoming more evil towards you and the rest of Kanto. Just wait and see what happens next. So I hope you like that. It was quite dreadful. But anyway, we're going to Celadon. We're going to Celadon Pokemon Center. Ah, jeez. I really hope I didn't offend any of my American fans. I love you guys so much. My fans are awesome. You guys know who you are. Uh, my constant fans that always PM me and write comments on my videos. I thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Anyway, so the next thing we do next is head for the Saffron Gym. Now, I don't feel like showing every single battle in this place because that'll, be, that'll just take forever. So, I'm just going to cut them all out, alright? Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to cut them all out. I'm just going to skip the trainers. I will just try and dodge the trainers the best I can, or the best of my ability to dodge the trainers. But, oh well. <sighs> Hopefully we get... These teleport things are... sad and annoying. Alright, um... After mucking around with the, um... What... The teleport thing we you eventually get to um Sabrina. Uh you guys can actually Google um how to get to Sabrina. So
All right, let's take on Sabrina. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I've had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as leader to confer badges to anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I shall show you my psychic powers. All right, let's get the third gym battle of the Kanto region underway, versing the psychic trainer Sabrina of Saffron City. First up is an Espeon, and what happened to the music? Uh, but I like the gym leader music. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure we can live with that music. I'm, oh, I'm surprised Polyrath survived that, actually. Ah, uh, jeez. Ooh, with only... Oh, uh, Sabrina, I thought you were different. I really thought you were different. Obviously not. Oh, great. Goodbye, Polyrath. Fail. Uh, what went up into the music? Ah, oh, well... Anyway, this is the hint number four, the first game in its series, where the two protagonists actually work together. Now, if you um, guys really think about that one, you will get the game. Uh, that is a simple hint. A extremely, or what should I say, an extremely simple hint. That hint is not difficult. So, you guys should really get it after that hint. Okay, now the gym music comes on. What a weird way to ha have a battle in. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> ah. It's using Baton Pass already? It didn't even do anything. She just set her Alakazam up. Oh great, if I don't kill it this turn, this turn, this turn... This really could get dangerous. Come on, Pidgeot. Finish it, 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 finish it. Yes! Thank goodness for that. Last up, Mr. Mime, even though we've already seen it. Now, if you guys watch Fire Red, you'll know how good Mr. Mime's special defense is, so I'm not going to go using any special attacks on it. But it failed. It makes us, it makes you, just puts you so down when that comes up. You know, but it failed. It's just so... Depressing. <laughs> anyway, I let it Sabrina has been defeated. That really was actually much easier than I thought it would be. Alright, and we get 4,800 Poker Dollars from her as well. We really are going through Kanto quite quickly, actually. M much quicker than I anticipated. So we get the Marsh Badge from Sabrina. Draws out your subliminal powers, although I failed accurately to predict your power this is much I know you'll be... Alright, she thinks we're going to become a champion. What a legend. You know what, Sabrina? We love you too. Anyway, let's get the hell out of this gym and make our way over to the next destination. Which is firstly going to be the Pokemon Center. Okay, so... I'm going to go heal up at the Pokemon Center, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, after healing up at the Pokemon Center, the next place we are going to head over to is Fuchsia City. That's right, Chris. Fuchsia City. Yeah, you heard me. Alright, so we got to go, th obviously got to go through Celadon City to get to Fuchsia City first up. But the easiest, well the only way in this game to actually get to Fuchsia City. Whoops, wrong way. The only way to get to Fuchsia City in this game so far is taking Cycling Road. So you can't take the, you can't take Lavender Town just yet, so... Gotta take Cycling Road, and you don't have to hold down a Cycling Road, because... Oh, you can't be serious. Anyway, you don't have to hold down on, on Cycling Road, because he just cycles down the hill. Which is exactly... Oh, great. It looks like we've got a required fight here. We sure do. Alright, we are now out of Cycling Road after struggling to move on flat land, and it looks like we've got to... Okay, we should get around him. Oh, it shifted up. Anyway, looks like we arrive in Fuchsia City. So next time in Pokemon Liquid Crystal, we're going to do the things that need to be done in Fuchsia City. See you guys then.